Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astral Web, and I'm here to create a video to show you how to track your forms filled out and the problems that could arise that user have, users have uh, with Google Analytics. So basically to plug in and to monitor all of the fields that people fill in in your contact form and uh, um, just learn about how you can optimize your forms, what people have uh, problems with, uh, what fields you may be able to remove, uh, and just how to optimize your forms and figure out better what your users are doing on your website. Very, very cool and exciting um, topic, at least for me personally, and we can kind of go into it. So uh, in this example, we just took our website, and we have a very simple form that has four fields to fill out. Name, email, subject, and message. Okay. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to track in analytics um, if someone submits a form, we want to track if it was submitted correctly, if it has problems, if there are blank fields, and um, this video basically shows you a fairly basic um, way to, to monitor that, and you can really go deep into that and really figure out more and more in order to optimize your forms and just help your users, you know, contact you or fill out a form or register or whatever form you're looking for, okay? So, um, Let's dive into it. So uh, what we have here is the form itself. Um, this is just you know a regular page with a form. Now what we need to do to add in order to, to track this information are two things. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the FTP, show you the code of the contact page, and just explain you one by one. Okay, so here uh, we have our FTP client. Basically, um, I am going to the contact.php page. I'm gonna edit it and show you what's going on and, and just go. Okay. So um, what we basically did, the only thing we really added to this form are these two lines, these two scripts to run. So in order to track um, the, 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 to do event tracking, to track the forms, we need to add two things. One is you need to add uh, in your head, most likely, uh, we can add it anywhere, but we added it to the, the end of the head. Uh, you need to add it, the latest jQuery uh, JavaScript file, okay? Uh, this is one, you know, you can just load it directly either from your server, you can download it, or you can load it directly from jQuery. And the second one is the script that actually reads the form fields and figures out if they're blank or if they've actually been filled out, and then we'll do some event tracking, okay? So jQuery has to be above this form tracker JavaScript, so that's very important. And uh, just a quick note, make sure you don't have multiple jQueries loading on your page. So if you already have it, make sure it loads above this form tracker that we're going to get to in a second. And um, it doesn't load multiple times, so it doesn't crash or have some kind of issues with that. Okay, uh, so that's just a quick tip. So let's go to this JavaScript form tracker, and we'll go and uh, we'll continue. Okay, so let me close this. Okay, let's go to JavaScript folder, form tracker, I'm going to edit it, and it does a very, very simple thing, okay? Uh, basically, it's just a quick JavaScript, and what it basically does is it looks at all the input fields one by one, and if the length value, if it's not zero, which means it's, it's actually filled out, you know, there's actually information, it's not blank, then we go and we submit via a Google Analytics a event tracking. Um, now this code is using the latest, as at least uh, as to right now, the Google Analytics Universal code. If you have the older code, you're going to use a little different line, and you can search for that. But this is the, the new one, and you can ask me questions in the YouTube video, YouTube video comments, or on our blog, and I'll be happy to explain how to do it in the old one. But uh, basically, all of our clients we've already shifted to Universal code, and uh, you should too. Okay, so um, basically what it does is if the value, it goes field by field, right, the attribute name, right, so um, let me show you the code itself. Okay, so here's our form right here. Now, um, the input type name, for example, so it's going to go one by one and search for this name equals name equals. So here's the name field, here's the email field, name equals subject, and the text area message, right? So it's basically going to look one by one, and if the field is not blank when you submit the form, then it's going to submit an event tracking. Uh, and here, you're basically, actually, let's go one by one. So uh, send an event. You know, this is, this is how you send an event via the Universal Analytics. 
uh, we want to name here the contact form that you have, right? So if you go back, our ID and our name of a contact form is contact F, so you want to name it so you know which form people are submitting, right? Uh, and then uh, what we do is the, the field name, right, the value name, which in, in this case is your name, email, subject, or message, uh, has been completed because it was submitted correctly. It wasn't blank, right? And you can add more validation. If it's an email, you want to make sure that it's not just empty. It also has a valid email, has a, a, an and sign, an at sign, and a dot, and all that stuff. So you can, this is, again, a basic video, right? Now, if else, right, if it's blank, then submit an event tracking a, the same form and say that that field was skipped, right? So one, one conclusion is, that it, if you see over time after we get through this whole video that you, you have certain forms that there are certain fields that people don't fill out you should consider rem removing them so the simpler the form is the easier the less abandonment there is the easier it is for people to fill out and you want to learn and, and uh, uh, gather conclusions based on what we're doing right now right so basically very simple um, you know if it's blank Submit, it was skipped. If it's not, submit, it was completed. Mention which field, right? Name, email, all of that stuff. So um, that's basically it, right? Now we want to go and I want to show you a live example, and that's basically it. Very, very simple script, very nice, works, and you can build on top of that, right? So let's fill out a field, right? Um, and right before that, what I want to show you is we're on Google Analytics, and we want to go to the real time and events. And, and actually make sure what we did was correct. We didn't make typos or, or uh, didn't link correctly or stuff like that. So let's go to the form. And I'm going to, the first trial, I'm going to submit a successful form. Or actually, you know what, let's submit an uh, uh, incorrect form. So um, right now, in order to validate, we need to make sure, let me go here a second. Uh, let me just explain one more thing. So this specific form, what it does is, when you submit it, it goes to a JavaScript file and it doesn't go to a new page. It actually it validates and if it sends, it'll give some kind of a you know, JavaScript message right here. So it stays on the same page. If it goes to a different page, you'll handle it a little differently, but it's pretty much the same thing, right? So we're going to go to the validation right here, right? So it submits it to the folder PHP, contact send.php. Let's open that, okay? And this is one more script. This is the one that actually validates the form and sends the email, right? Okay, so um, let's just go down. I'll just show you exactly what we added to here. So it obviously takes, uh, you submit the form to this script. It takes all the fields, name, email, subject, and message, and processes it, verifies that the email is a valid email, and, uh, you know, fields and messages at least five characters, all that stuff, right? So basically what we did add here is if your email has been sent correctly, right, we also want to send an event tracking, again, send event, the same contact form, and we want to say that the, f the form was actually submitted correctly, right? So if, if you know, someone filled out the, the name, the email, all that stuff, that's all good, but if it wasn't submitted correctly, if the email wasn't sent, then the whole thing is not worth anything, right? So we wanted to add this event tracking if it's submitted correctly and an email is sent. All the fields were correct and all that. If there is an error, we submit a, an event tracking that says, hey, failed submit, right? And we do the same thing as well here, right? If, if a, the form was not filled out correctly on the validation of the script, we do another event tracking and it says, hey, it's not completed, right? So you can figure out over time that is what percentage uh, of people have problems with your forms and, and fix and uh, gather conclusions and add a you know specific you know look at your data basically right so let's let's go ahead and do this okay let's fill out a uh, uh, incorrect form so in our script the email is mandatory right so let's try to submit it without so name Ori message this is a test okay so I'm gonna click on submit and we, the, the PHP uh, forms uh, uh, script actually figured out that it wasn't submitted correctly. Now, I want to go to, now, you know, in order to track this, we put it into Google Analytics. So I'm going to go to Analytics, 
and you can see that we have one event that triggered all of our fields right and if I go to contact I can see that the uh, name was filled out correctly the message was and um, hmm, there, there's some kind of problem here with the skip name this could have been from one before I'm not sure so let's see what happened if it's just messed up a little bit here um, this could have been something from before when we did a test but basically uh, completed so name and message were completed but the form was actually not submitted correctly if you notice right so um, for some reason I don't know why the subject is not as a skipped I don't know why subject skipped is not or, or skipped is not message I'll have to t take a look at it but the idea is there and we'll, we'll double check right so this is this is one thing. Now let's submit a form correctly. Okay. Let's actually reload the page. Okay, perfect. And you can see your email has been sent and let's see if another event was triggered right here perfect so you can see that it was completed successfully and the subject line was completed right and uh, this is obviously a link for, from the real time this obvi obviously shows um, you know both of the events that we just triggered lately right so we just wanted to verify it via the real time now um, after you know an hour or a few hours when Google Analytics updates because it's not uh, real time. You want to go to behavior, and you want to go to events, uh, either by page or top events, and you can kind of figure out. Here's our form. Um, you know, let's say contact form, and you can figure out the fields that were completed, that were skipped, and just get gather all that information. Okay. So uh, basically, that's it. So I hope it, if you you know I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll try to answer. I'm going to uh, take a look at what happened with this a subject field that wasn't submitted correctly. Uh, why it didn't show the skipped. I hope it's just a bug in, in uh, analytics because we've tested this before. And uh, in this video, we'll create a link to a blog post with more detail screenshots. This video text explanations and you can and you know ask any questions we'll be happy to answer and uh, you know share with the community this idea uh, that's it so hope you enjoy this video thank you very much for listening